What's going on guys and girls? We're here playing some more Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to complete all the mission tasks for mission 16 which is called Traitor's Caravan. So in this mission there are eight mission tasks to complete. Most of them are pretty simple and normal but some of them are very very annoying and frustrating to complete. So I'm going to go through every single one of them in a single playthrough. You guys don't have to do that if you don't want to. If you just want to do the ones that you're missing feel free to do that and if you want to skip to those parts in the video there are timestamps in the, the description below. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pinpoint the uh, escort units route which is the intel file located right here. So that's the first thing we are going to do. Now I'm going to be using a D-Dog and a Jeep during this mission. You guys can use D-Horse if you want to. I just like using D-Dog because it gives me a, a lot of awareness of where all of the enemies are. So I don't have to go around and scout all the positions. So what we're going to be doing first, as I said before, we're going to head to the main objective. So basically where it says on the map to go and we are going to find the intel file that will show us where the uh, um, escort vehicles are going to be traveling. So that is just located just over here in the guard post so what we're going to do is we are just going to tranquilize everyone in the area so we're just going to headshot everyone and that should get rid of them. Now you can if you want is just do body shocks, shots and you'll eventually, they will eventually fall asleep and it just might take a little bit longer for that to happen. So once I have headshotted every one of these guys with the entire fire is located just in that tent right in front of me. So what we're going to do is there's one more guy just over here. We're just going to get close enough so that we can get him with one shot and hopefully not use too many bullets. And then head in here and you'll find the intel file and that will complete the first mission task for this mission. So you can also skip the cutscene and then we'll move on to the next one. So this is the location right here of the intel file. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to extract three zero risk security soldiers. So depending on when you get here they could be anywhere along this route. So they'll start off at that little building right there and they will finish their tr uh, transport right there. And they will wait there until the uh, all the escort vehicles and everything and the truck driver uh, and the truck transport truck all arrive past there and then they will join the convy. Instead of that what we're going to do is we are going to extract them and get this mission task complete. I think you can extract any three security soldiers but um, there you might actually have to extract these three I'm not too sure. I'm pretty sure it's just any just extract three of the security soldiers. So as we're going along here we are going to run into them just driving along the road here. Uh, this all depends on how quickly you get to this point so they could be still at that building or they could already be at the location that I have marked on the iDroid. So what we're going to do is we're just going to travel onto this side of the road so that we're uh, in the best place for going on to the next mission tasks and we're just going to park up right next to where they are going to stop and then just uh, tranquilize all of them and exfiltrate them. Well extract them not exfiltrate. And so what we're going to do is as they get to this point they should stop round about this location right here. Uh, they just drive a little bit further than when I marked it. And what we're going to do is we're just going to tranquilize them by hitting them in the leg. And doing that because they've got body armor we want to hit them in the legs so that we actually end up tranquilizing them. And if you just hit the last guy twice that means that he will just drop faster. And it means that the timing will just be a little bit better for when they all start falling asleep. So as you can see this guy is the last guy awake and if you could, you could just even hit him again and then get rid of him. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to extract all of these soldiers and the vehicles so that no one spots it. I am using the uh, wormhole device so if you don't have the wormhole device it doesn't matter. All you need is one that will allow you to extract the large vehicle which is the same one that you need to extract the shipping containers. And so you should have that by now if you're trying to do this. And if you've got the wormhole one it actually helps you because you will then be able to extract the, some of the skulls and that will help you with your parasite suit later on. Uh, so what we're going to do is we are now heading back into the vehicle and we are going to head towards the airport zone. So just here, so that is the location we were, I just wanted to remove the marker. And now we are going to head here. So this is the first location of the first conversation that you need to listen to between the truck driver and the outposts. And we are going to make ourselves a nice little spot right there so that we can listen into the conversation. So just over here you'll find the airport, it's not very far away. We're just going to park our vehicle just here by this gate so that we can get in and get out very quickly. 
So once you go up to this gate, you can have to lock pick it. So if you tap triangle, you will lock pick it faster. If you're doing it on Xbox, you're tapping Y and then you tap it faster. It will actually just make it a lot quicker. That is one of the tips that someone pointed out to me and I'm just going to try and point it out to everyone in every one of these videos that I now do. So now what we're going to do is we're going to head our way over here. There are some snipers on the roof, so we just want to make sure that they don't spot us. This guy did end up seeing me, so when if they do see you and you're far away, they won't know what they saw. They'll just be like, oh, I think I saw something. And then you just want to lie on the ground and you'll be completely fine. There's also a guard that's going to be walking around this area, so what we're going to do is we're just going to tranquilize him. He won't see us because we're in a shaded building, but as soon as we walk out here, he's going to notice that we are here. But he's not going to alert anyone because he doesn't know exactly what he's seen because we're too far away. And now what we're going to do is we are going to make ourselves on top of this building right here. We're just going to extract this guy so there's going to be no uh, body left around for anyone to find. You gotta also just watch out for the guy that's patrolling in front of this building. He might end up seeing you depending on which uh, route, which part of his patrol he's on. And also there is a couple of guys just over here. You're actually very close and during the daytime it's very easy for them to see you. So you can also complete this at night and it might make it a little bit easier. I like completing them during the day for these videos just because it makes the video a lot easier to see, especially if you're in a glary spot. So now we have found the transport truck and we've also found the escort vehicles. They have also arrived at the time that we have arrived here. And the the truck driver is the guy that is now behind the truck at the moment. And if you just use your binoculars, you can use your binoculars from here and you just zoom in a bit and you'll end up listening to their conversation. So don't worry if your truck driver doesn't look like this guy right here. Uh, one time I went through it, he was a black guy. One through it, time I went through it, he was a different looking white guy. So uh, just make sure to just, uh, look at this guy right here who's going to be standing here. He may look different during your playthrough, but he will definitely be the right guy. And as you can see, he's having this conversation. And I'm going to leave all the conversations in this video. Uh, but I'm, most of the time, I'm just going to let them play through. There are three conversations you want to listen to during this playthrough so what I'm going to do next is now that we've seen the conversation we are just going to get out of here and hopefully we won't be spotted by any of these guys I'm trying to mark this other tank uh, it doesn't really matter if you mark it or not because I've already got the mission task for identifying the um, the transport vehicles so what we're going to do now is remove that marker right there and that is where we were just listening to the conversation and we are going to place another marker at the next conversation which is going to take place at this little outpost right here and just right there is going to be the conversation so we are going to put ourselves around about there so that we can listen to it very easily without being spotted so now i'm just uh, waiting here so that we don't get spotted by any of the vehicles so just i'm just trying to stay, stay as still as i can so that no one's going to notice me and once they have a left i am going to just mark this guy so just so that it is all done and dusted and then i'm going to get out of here and head towards the next location so just remember there is a sniper on the roof so when you're trying to leave don't run in front of the sniper or the guy that is patrolling in front of the building just make sure that he, those two don't see you there's actually two snipers on the roof so just be careful of that if they if they are really high level you can feel like extracting them uh one time when i was coming through this trying to do this video i did end up extracting them because they were both s rank so i was like oh my goodness i'm going to get those guys so much so what we're doing now is just heading back to our vehicle so that we can head to the next location and jump in here and it'll be a very far uh, it's not too far away but it's a bit of a distance to try and run especially if you're trying to beat the vehicles there so they they're just going to travel along this road right here and we're just going to cross it in front of it so that we can be on the other side where the cliffs are on top of the cliffs so we can listen to the conversation without any problems I am just going to wait for them a little bit because it does take a little bit of time for them to get here and just on this note there is the location of where we just extracted the three soldiers uh, there are four soldiers and the truck so make sure to also extract the transport vehicle so that they don't end up seeing that empty vehicle just lying there on the road otherwise they may be alerted to your presence and they won't have all of the conversations so that corner right there is where it was located and we're just going to keep moving along they're just going to travel along the road on the right hand side of me and eventually end up at this next location 
So once you get there, all I'm going to do is I'm going to jump out of my vehicle and wait for the transport truck. There isn't a lot happening at this point in time. So if I'm just rambling, it just seems like I'm rambling. That's probably because I am. I'm just trying to fill in time and wait for everything to happen the way it should do. There are a bunch of guards here. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that none of them spot you and also that none of you don't take any of them out. Otherwise, you might end up having the conversation not happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sit over here, lie down and crawl over here. You, they're, they're so far away that there's no way they're going to see you from this distance. Uh, but Analysis they definitely complete. could end up seeing you if you were a Analysis lot closer. Complete. So I'm just going to mark all of them just so that I can actually see what their um, stats are. I'm not going to end up extracting any of them because there's no point in doing that from this distance. And we are just now waiting for the transport vehicles to come. So this is exactly where I'm located. I'm just showing you again so that you guys can get a better idea of exactly where I am located and where the conversation is going to happen. If the conversation doesn't happen during this playthrough, so the guy will definitely get out of his vehicle, but sometimes he doesn't actually have the conversation. If that does happen, what you need to do is you just need to restart the mission and hopefully it will happen the next time. Uh, it did take me a couple of tries. One, the first couple of tries I went through, I went on, like this guy stopped here and it was like he just stood there and the other guy just that he's meant to have the conversation stood there the other time the other guy that he's meant to have a conversation with didn't even walk up to him he was just you know doing his normal patrol kind of stuff and what we're going to do is now we're just going to use our binoculars to listen to the conversation so the guy running up to him is the guy that is going to have the conversation with him uh, so we just make sure that this actually happens i'm just going to let the conversation play out if you guys uh, want to listen to it you can or if you want to skip ahead feel free to Zien jy enige iets vir dag? Nie, rechtig nie, maar... Mm, maar wat? Baie ouwens het verdwijn in hierdie dele die afgelopen tijd. Verdwijn? Soos een ontvoer? Weet nie. Maar het jy al die gerig gehoor? Daar is een bout om die Zaire grens. Blijkbaar vol spoke. En enige iemand... Enige iemand Caution. wat ooit daar ingaan... ...kom nooit uit nie. So jy weet daarvan? Luister. Jy loop nie en praat hier oor nie. Wat bedoel jy? Ek skuld jy la gids, so volg net my advies. Ach, jy, hier die ouwe. So there we go, the conversation is finished. That is the second conversation you need to listen to. Remember there are three that you need to listen to. So we've done the first one and the second one, and now we're just going to head to the third one. So I'm just going to remove that marker so that it's not going to be too annoying. I do end up putting another one on. Uh, it's a little bit hard to get that one off. And then what we're going to do is we're going to head to the last conversation that he's going to have, and then we're going to complete the other mission tasks that are needed. So the next conversation is going to take roundabout here. I'm not exactly too sure. It's, it's basically about there. It might be a little bit like up or down that road by just a few meters, but it's not too far off and so what we're going to do is we're going to place ourselves where I place the second marker there and so what we're going to do head in our jeep towards those markers so that we can get there uh, now on this route this way just make sure that you don't run into any uh, mines so any claymores that are set out uh, they are called directional mines in this game but then you know in your inventory they're called a claymore so just make sure that you don't don't run into any of those otherwise it could destroy your vehicle or it could just alert them to your presence and then you wouldn't end up getting the next conversation because of the explosion will can be heard from quite a far away and that can really alert there any of the guards around this area any of the soldiers really so just up here if you just travel this way you should be fine i think there is a, a few mines just around here that you just have to be very careful of and make sure you don't run into and i think i show you one in this video or at least i uh, went during one of my playthroughs i did try to show you guys one so i'm just going to park myself right here and then get myself close we want to make sure we don't get spotted by any of these other soldiers there are a lot of soldiers in this area and once we have listened to this conversation we are then going to uh, tranquilize the truck driver and then we are also going to eliminate the skulls and all that sort of stuff and uh, extract the truck so right here is about where the conversation is going to take place in front of us so the guy right in front of us is the guy he's going to have the conversation with and just make sure that this actually happens because one time when i went through they didn't actually have their conversation uh the conversations in this game sometimes don't work properly just like in the uh one of the previous videos uh there is quite a glitchy conversation that is really annoying to get to work 
So this one can also be a little bit annoying, but it's definitely not as annoying as the previous ones. So there we go, I'm just going to let this conversation take place and you can listen to it if you want to. So there we go, we'll listen to all three conversations and we have now got the mission task. The next thing I try and do is I actually try and lure them uh, closer to me using the tranquilizer gun. Doesn't work very well, so don't try and do that. So just tranquilize them and it should be fine. You just want to make sure that you don't end up killing the truck driver because once you move close to the truck driver or the truck itself, the uh, the skulls are actually going to pop out of it. So you just want to be very careful that you don't hurt them. Um, I do end up equipping a grenade. You don't want to do that. I wanted to try and see if I had the little uh, magazine clip. So you can, if you have that equipped, you can just start throwing those magazine clips at these guys and they will go and check out the, what the noise that they heard and they will get closer and closer to you so that you can then extract them. What I decided to do was just try and make sure that they spotted me and so that they would try and come closer and try and investigate. Instead what they did is he decided to start calling in so what I decided to do is just uh, tranquilize the guy, that guy and then tranquilize this guy and then also I think I'd get the other guy that went to investigate this, the first truck driver. So the truck driver is the guy that's right near the truck and just make sure that you don't kill him when you're battling the skulls. So what I'm doing is I'm just moving close enough to the vehicle so that the skulls are gonna jump out of it. Now during the cutscene, you can cut, skip this cutscene, but during this cutscene, the bodies that do disappear of the truck driver and so you don't have to worry about them, you shouldn't have to worry about them being killed by these guys when they jump out. Uh, or by them just disappearing. As you can see, they're not there on the ground, but when the cutscene finishes, they will be standing right there on the ground, or lying right there on the ground. So obviously that's all right. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get their attention and draw them away from the vehicle so we don't end up destroying the truck and also we don't kill the truck driver. That's what I did there. I just shot one of them so that they now know exactly where I am and we are just going to run away a little bit so that they are gonna be nowhere near the vehicle. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to equip my rocket launcher. I've had this during the whole playthrough, so make sure you've got a rocket launcher if you haven't got that. And we are just going to blow these guys up as much as we can. So as you can see, just start keep shooting them with the rocket launcher, and they sometimes group, group up like that, and it makes it a lot easier to hit them all and kill them. So now we've got this guy. He's armored up again, so when he's armored up, you want to make sure that you hit him with the rocket launcher. If they have no armor left on them, then you can easily just shoot them and it's fine. This guy's pulled out his sword, so I'm, what I'm gonna show you is a technique that you can use. So as when they have their swords, they'll get really close and you can just combat, uh, counter their combats by pressing uh, the R2 or right trigger if you're on Xbox to uh, dodge their attacks. As you can see, this guy's got no armor on him, so I can just shoot him with my normal weapon. This guy's still got some of that armor plating, so we're gonna hit him with another rocket launcher and hit him just again because he's almost dead and there we go and if you uh, extract these guys during it so i'm going to show you the idroid uh, make sure to extract some of them before you finish the battle otherwise you won't be able to extract any of the other guys this is not part of the mission task this just actually helps you out later on uh, with your parasite uh, suit and so as you can see i've now got some ability to use my paras parasite suit so now all we need to do is extract the truck driver and extract the truck itself. So we're just gonna do that. Here's the truck driver right here. And then we're also going to extract the truck. Now, also, of course, I'm using the wormhole device, as I said before. You, all you need is the one that allows you to extract heavy vehicles. 
So as you can see, I've completed all the mission tasks, and now I'm going to use a exfiltrate the hot zone. The way I'm going to do it is I'm actually just going to hop on top of this uh, shipping container and use it to ride myself out of here. So you just need to use your Fulton device and then continue holding triangle or Y on Xbox, and you will end up exfiltrating the hot zone very quickly and easily. So that's what I'm going to do for this video. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys have been able to get the uh, mission task and as well as an S rank. That's what I end up getting right here. So I get 160,000 for completing it like that. And that gives me an S rank. So that's what I'm going to do. So thank you guys for watching. Now it's time for me to say see you guys and girls. And see you in the next video, hopefully.